Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm really not much of a Photoshop user, more of a Photoshop Elements user, uh, because I, I just need the basics. I just do some basic photo touch-ups. Never run into uh, a photo editor or an image editor that I just loved. Uh, Paint Shop Pro for years was awesome, and then uh, they released, I, I can't remember which version it was, but just started just, it went way downhill after uh, an acquisition. Uh, Corel picked it up, and it's still kind of, well, in my opinion, limping along. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time before desktop photo editing software disappears and it all goes to the web. In fact, Adobe has pre-announced that they're working on a photo editor that is based on the web. If you have a Flickr account, you can upload your photos there and edit your photos on Flickr.com with a tool uh, that Yahoo had acquired at some point in the past. Uh, so it, it doesn't, it's not a matter of not having the right software or the right tools accessible. Uh, it's just a matter of doing it. And inevitably, you know, the word Photoshop does come up when we talk about photo editing. And I asked for some Photoshop tips from the community. And Cabana Guy submitted his top five Photoshop tips for me to share with the rest of the community at live.perillo.com. When trying to fade an image, do not change the opacity of the layer. Use the eraser tool. This is because if you have more than one image on one layer, you can have the different images at a different opacity level. To do this, click on the eraser tool and go to the top toolbar, unless you've moved it, lower the opacity, and erase. You can also do this, or this particular uh, tip, to blend images to get rid of the boxiness, and that's when the image is square and you want it to be more roundish, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's very true, and if you don't understand layers, we've talked about them before, um, instead of having it, uh, like a photo, which is just one layer, it's the image is what it is, uh, in Photoshop and similar programs, you can have different layers uh, and applying different effects on different layers so you can uh, more easily maneuver between one layer and another and another and another. You can change uh, stuff on this layer without affecting this layer, without affecting this layer. Layers, once you've mastered layers, trust me, your, your whole outlook on photo editing will change. It makes it easier to, uh, you know, manipulate one part independent of another part of any kind of image. Number four, when cropping full images, do not use the eraser tool. Use the vector tool. It's much more accurate and only cuts out exactly what you need. The eraser tool, in my opinion, should only be used for fading and touching up images, but never to do a full cropping job. And cropping is uh, when, let's say you've got an image that's this big, but you only want it, this part of it, you basically select this part of it, and, well, in my image editor's case, then you double click it and then the image basically gets rid of everything uh, outside what's in this little square or what's in this selection because you've cropped it specifically to that size. Uh, that's, uh, that's cropping in a nutshell. And uh, it's, it's, it's good once you, once, you, once you really figure out when you use cropping when you don't want to use cropping. It's just one of those things that's a tool uh, that uh, you never know when you need it until you need it. Now you know you need it when you need it. Always, always, always Sunday, 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 be aware of what layer you're on. I've seen other people many times, and myself, start using the vector tool to crop out images only to find out I was on the wrong layer and had to redo it all over again. You may also run into problems if you want to flatten two layers, but select the wrong ones and find out layer when it's too late and your layers are now messed up. So let's say you think you're on this layer, you're editing something that's on this layer, like an, an Im part of an image or like uh, maybe brightness or contrast or a color, and you're actually on this one, well... You can't change two layers at the same time. You can bring those two layers together, and that becomes then a separate layer, a new layer, or a single layer. But be cognizant of which layer you're on, and just use the layer tool, and it'll tell you which one it is. Number two, when using the magic wand tool, remember, it really isn't magical. If you're using it to get rid of an unwanted background, make sure you're close up on all the openings of the wanted image. So this can be done rather unnoticeably by using the pencil tool. In the magic, the, the magic uh, wand or the magic pencil, depending on your uh, photo editor, uh, you can click it and it will select, depending on the options you've set for it and the threshold, uh, it will select similar colors, similar hues, similar brightness, and then automatically, and then you can just delete or you can move or you can do anything with the selected items. He's suggesting something that I would recommend too, and that is get very precise around uh, the image's perimeter, the thing that you want to crop out if you want to get rid of the background, uh, or if you want to just select that object, throw it to another layer, or copy it to a completely different image altogether. 
Number one, always put images on different layers. This will give you more freedom to change the way the images are placed in the final image. If you put them all on one layer, you can usually never change it much. Very true. So if you, let's say you've penciled out and, and to copy out like uh, some object, like me holding on to this, and you just you want to just take this object, cut it out, or let's say I've got I've got my hand like this, right? So if you take a screenshot of me holding on to nothing, you could take any other image and put something here. And if you place it into the same layer, well, then it's then merged with that layer. Whereas if you keep it on a separate layer, then it could be moved around, it could be deleted, and then you could put something else there, save out that image. You can always export the image independent of the layers that you have when you're editing the image. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, cashews, you'd put cashews there? I'd put almonds really an almonds fan though to tell you the truth more of a uh, uh, macadamia nut kind of guy macadamia nut pine nut pistachio nut <clears throat> coffee nut actually it's a coffee bean bean all right cabana guy thanks for those tips uh, certainly very useful when uh, you're inside uh, an image editor, not just Photoshop, I mean he's talking some, in some cases specific directions, but many image editors out there have similar tools, uh, which of course makes it easier to work with images. And you know, do I recommend one over the other? I recommend you try whatever you can and stick with whatever you are most comfortable with. There are free image editors out there, uh, they're ones that have of course, cost money. Uh, just because you spend a lot of money doesn't mean you're going to get everything out of it. Uh, go with what you are most comfortable with. Yeah, Indy likes Paint.net, which is freeware. Uh, I never really liked Paint.net. It is free, uh, but I just never, never really liked it all that much. I like Photo Filter. There's a free version, at least there used to be, and there's also a paid version as well. Not perfect. I'm still looking for a good in-betweener. Um, on Mac OS X, I like Pixelmator. And that's definitely not free, but it's based on GIMP. Uh, it uses uh, the hardware acceleration that's uh, baked into OS X. Uh, some wonderful stuff in there. Pixelmator is, is one uh, that I have suggested for a while. Uh, Photoshop Elements. I'm waiting for Adobe to release a new version for Mac OS X. I'd like to take a look at that as well. No matter uh, if you've got any photo image editing tips or suggestions, maybe image editor ideas or suggestions, uh, feel free to pass them along. I'd love to share them with the rest of the community. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room where every once in a while I'm feeling generous and uh, turn on uh, the ability for anybody to chat inside the video and participate in the recording and then subsequent uploading to YouTube. Uh, no matter, if you want to talk tech, you're welcome to stop by. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and usually talking about hardware, software, Sometimes photo tips. You never really know. But we're there waiting for you at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.